Hello guys, Tim here back with another video. Today I'm gonna it's gonna be episode three of this making a Discord bot in Discord.js tutorial. So first off, before we get things started, I just wanna say that I'm gonna be using the newest version of Discord.js and to do this to get the most recent updated version, usually you should just usually and you should like just install it from a the actual package on npm from here right and just uh, because as you can see this is on a stable version 11.2.1 but if for example you go to the actual the actual github repository and you go into the package.json you can see the version down here is 12.0.0 dash dev right that's like the mo very newest version and by using this version, I think I'm going to, this tutorial is going to be slightly more future proof, but obviously discord.js, as it goes on, it's always going to be changing. So far, one thing that you'll notice if you're using set game, they changed it to set activity instead. And if you want to view the master instead of stable, because this is usually what you see, 11.2. If you want to view master instead, you just go here. For actually installing it, you're gonna need git scm on installed on your computer, which you can get from here. It's just a basic installation process. Just click this button, and um, as and then if you do and to actually like install it from the prompt, you'll have to go into your folder and npm i hydrobolt slash discord.js, which is the repository right here. So you'll have everything. J because it detects that there's a slash, so it's gonna download it from the this uh, from the GitHub repository, and um, to actually set this to bash, which I didn't show, because after installing it, it also installs git bash along with it, which I like more than a normal git. You're gonna need to hit Control comma, and it's gonna open up these settings, and where it says terminal dot integrated shell windows, or you're gonna type terminal integrated shell windows, and you're gonna make it this right here. I'll leave this uh, in the description, this whole line, you just need to copy it into the settings and save. Um, and yeah, that's really it. And I'm going to start working inside of the this terminal here because, um, I don't know, I like it more. It has a nicer look and it, it doesn't require another program open to use it. So I'm just going to use nodemon just like I would with my normal command prompt. I'll go back to my bot right now and go ahead and type n.ping and there. It responds with that just like we had it set up to <clears throat> and this episode I'm actually going to be discussing discord events like client events just client events I don't know what else has events but I know the client has it for sure I know like a uh, voice dispatcher but we're just gonna be over being good we're just gonna be going over client events I'm rambling so these are all the events and to the only events we've covered so far is client on ready and client on message right here those are the two events we've covered but there's all of these events that you could view and there's even more if you click this but you're pro you're probably not gonna oh no there's not more so just leave that hidden but basically um these are all the commands the the chance of you using all of them for a bot is very little like you're never gonna need to use all of them and you can see the description of all of them I'll just quickly go over them so let's uh let's go here bot I like to do, do this for my events we're just gonna console.log whenever that event happens and on channel delete we're gonna console.log right and so now if we go uh, into our discord Let's create a channel, F, F, whatever. There we go, a console log that the channel has been created. It says here, name FF, position two, everything like that. And then if we delete it, it will, yeah, that's the, here's the, it just returns the text channel that's been deleted. And basically that's just how the majority of them work. Um, one that's used a lot is uh, the guild join event, which if I could, uh, oh yeah, guild create event, and as the description says, it emits whenever the client joins a guild, so let's say, um, let's uh, do guild create and guild delete, guild delete is whenever the bot leaves a 
server. The servers are called guilds, by the way, in the Discord API. So let's, um, let me just kick my bot from the server. I'll open up this terminal. Let me kick it. And as you can see, it's, it logged the guild along with the name of it, which was, um, where's the name? Dim's testing server. And now if we just invite my bot back real quick, um, right? If we invite my bot back, I'll just restart so you can see it for sure. I'll just invite it back to the testing server. I need to verify Kapshka. As you can see, it joined the server now. And yeah, that's basically just the uh, guild create event. Now, um, that's really, you, sh you get the gist of it. Let's um, let's do message reaction add, which is emitted, emitted whenever uh, something is created. And so if, for example, we go here and add a, a reaction. As you can see, we got a, it didn't log that because the reason it didn't log it is because the message wasn't in the cache yet. And um, what that means is that whenever a message is sent, it's basically saved to your bot. And so now if we react to this message, it'll log that reaction now. So that's um, that's the that's showing like how cache and, and the reaction ad works. And um, there's not really much more to show, to be fair. It's all very basic. You can figure it out yourself. Well, that's really it for that caching and um, events. So now I guess I'll just show how to check if a certain user has the administrator permissions. So for example, if you're creating a, um, if you're creating a ban command, you wouldn't want anyone to be use it, anyone to be able to use it except for an administrator. So what you would want to do to check for that is um, if the message, if the message member, so the the person as a member in the guild is um so you're gonna get their permissions dot has then you're gonna check if their permission has and as you can see there's a big list of permissions there but all we need is just administrator and so what i like to do some people well i mean this is what you shouldn't do you shouldn't just stack stack it like this instead you should just check if they don't have that permission then you're gonna return message dot reply you don't or more actually you aren't an admin and uh i don't really have a very good way of testing it but let's just do what did i make the prefix m dot ban it didn't tell me i'm not an admin because i am but let's say for example i'm gonna make myself join let me go here i'm gonna join that server or make an invite I'm gonna join it and now if I do m.ban the bot's gonna tell me you aren't an admin because I'm not you know because it's a new account with no permissions on it so now let's um let's actually make the ban command what we're gonna be using is the message mentions which is whoever is mentioned in the command like this for example so if you we're gonna get the message mentions we're gonna get the members from the mention and then dot first and um, I would like to, uh, I'd like to define this as const member equals and then obviously we're gonna check if there is no member like if they didn't put a um, if they didn't put a mention in it we're just gonna return message dot reply invalid usage please do uh, m dot ban and then um, at user hashtag one two three four and uh, let me just move these because it's gonna be formatted all right and so now if I do m dot ban M dot van. Okay, it's gonna tell me invalid usage. There was no uh, and then it's gonna let's do uh, M dot ban at dim. Now I didn't get an error. So finally, 
the last thing we're gonna do is just member dot ban. That's it. Just member dot ban, and then we can put a reason in here, right? A reason. So the reason would be the. Is it an object? One second. So let's. We can always check the documentation. Let's just go to ban. Go here, ban, and then it says user options. Oh wait, that's the guild ban. We want to use the guild member ban property. There it is. So we're gonna ban. Okay, yeah, it's an object. So we want to put for the options dot reason. So reason is because um, banned by, and then we'll do the message the author dot tag to get their name followed by their discriminator so let's do m dot ban at dim and uh okay privilege is too low so okay this is actually a permission with the bot because we didn't give it administrator permissions let's let me just go ahead and create an admin role the actual way you would want to actually i'll just show you the actual way you'd want to do it is make sure that people invite the bot with a um, with a link with perms on it so I'm just gonna here and then give it eight permissions that's the easy route just give it eight because that gives it administrator and we'll add it back to the server and so now we have the bot back now let's just m.ban add dim once again and boom dim's gone if we check the uh, audit log It'll say my first Discord bot banned dim with reason banned by dim hashtag force is six two four nine and that's basically all you're gonna wanna do. If you wanna include like a ban time, then you should just do um days um arg zero because that's the uh in case they did like if they if you wanted to do or actually args one and then here we'll do uh permissions and dot ban user args dot zero or no whatever m dot ban user and then uh time so we would do like time for example and then uh, if we just do m dot ban it'll say for the time and then here since we uh since in the documentation it says days, it'll take that second string and just ban them. And now, um, if you wanted to make a kick command, that's literally just the same thing. Just change kick to ban and remove the days argument because you can't. You can only kick for it. There's no like temporary kick. So uh, reason kicked by. And now, if I just uh, join back, let me unban myself real quick. Just go to uh, bands and go here. Let's get that again. Oops. Go ahead and join. And now, if we uh, do m dot kick instead of m dot ban, m dot ban at dim. It it. Oh my God! Why did I do ban? Alright, so now if we do m.kick at dim, it kicks him from the server. And then if we go into bands, he's not in the bands. And then if we go into the audit log, as you can see, I messed that up because, um, just give me a second. Why did I mess it up? Kicked by message author tag. Alright, because um, the way that kick works, it's because since you can only provide a reason for kicking, it's just this. So, um, I know that'll work. I'm not going to test it over again because I'm tired of joining my own server. But yeah, guys, that's it for this tutorial. One quick thing before I go. Here, where you have the message event. In this, with um, arrow functions, at least, you it's not required to... It's not required that you have parentheses surrounding this message if there's only one argument. But if you're doing message... Let's say, like, um, it doesn't even matter. Let's say you have two arguments, right? Like, first and second arguments. Then you would want to surround them in parentheses, as you can see. And uh, besides that, just I usually don't include any parentheses. 
also if you do async it, it's fine so yeah that's it for this video i hope this helped you if you have any questions join my discord server it'll be uh i'll leave a link in the description it'll be this one and yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching see you in the next one peace